Hello, everyone. Welcome to Mind Body TV. I'm Dr. Kim Doramo. I have an awesome topic today, and I want to welcome everyone who uh, we, we had a little bit of a snafu with the internet, so we're starting a little bit late here. Um, but if you started on the other thread, <laughs> we have a lot of snow here in Colorado, and that uh, wasn't going to work out. So we're starting over here for our broadcast today, which is EFT meridian tapping to heal autoimmune disease and chronic fatigue. And the way I have created this EFT tapping segment is to get to the root cause. So to get to the root cause of autoimmune, chronic fatigue, or if you have like a mystery illness, you don't really know what's going on, but you know, like I'm not feeling healthy. This is not where I want to be at my norm. Uh, this is a great segment for you. For those of you who aren't familiar with EFT meridian tapping, it's a really powerful way to communicate with your nervous system to assist basically all the physiologic functions in your body, physical, mental, emotional, and every part of your system. Uh, the way I like to think of EFT is, you know, we have three nervous systems. There's the voluntary part, which is, you know, I'm going to lift my glass of water and drink a glass of water. And my, my, my voluntary nervous system tells my muscles what to do, how to do it, coordinates the whole thing. There's the involuntary part of your nervous system, which is like, Right now, I don't even have to think about it, but my heart is pumping. My vessels are contracting just the right tension to have the right blood pressure. My food is digesting. All of those things are involuntary. And the third part of your nervous system was is essentially um, like completely left out in the Western medical model, but is a major, major part of the Eastern medical model. And that is your meridian system. That is your electromagnetic nervous system. So there is electrical energy and magnetic current going throughout our body and even emitting beyond our body. And when we have, you know, blockages in that or old programs running, like I have to keep working harder. It literally informs everything that's happening cellularly. It even informs your genetics, what genes get turned on, what genes get turned off. Um, and it's, it's pretty incredible how intricate that system is in that communication. And so in EFT Meridian Tapping, we are interacting with that third part of your nervous system, which is your meridian channels and your electromagnetics. And so we're going to begin to do some things that help open that up, help it harmonize so that your body can be at your peak health. Okay, so I'm so glad to have you guys here and you guys found it over to this area where we're doing the broadcast. So thank you. We'll give a few bit before uh, we see who else is coming in because I know uh, we're on a little bit of a delay, but thank you guys. Oh, great, great, great. We have lots of folks coming. Hello. Thanks, you guys. I love to hear where you're tuning in from <clears throat> and you can share that as well. All right, so the first premise we need to understand when we're trying to get to the root cause to heal virtually any disease, okay? So it's not just autoimmune and chronic fatigue. The reason I'm talking about those is because there tend to be like not a lot of great solutions, not a lot of great answers, and not a lot of great understanding of like, why do I have this? How do I address this from the conventional medical system? And what we're going to do today is an awesome, very, very effective approach that you can use. So the first piece is that the body does heal itself. The body heals itself 100% of the time. It is always, always available. The body heals itself for 100% of diseases that we can see. So it's not that the wisdom of your body was like, oh, I guess I didn't have the program for clearing Lyme disease. I'm just out of luck, right? Oh, I know my body has infinite wisdom, except mm, maybe not in this case. That is not true. It is 100% true that the body is capable of healing and resolving 100% of the chronic illnesses that we could be suffering from. So why isn't it happening if it's possible and it knows how to do this? Um, the body does not always have 
the energy available if it's getting sucked up in other places. We did do some EFT last week to get your energy back. And so if you've had chronic fatigue, if you've had autoimmune disease, you want to get your energy back, that is an awesome, awesome place to start. These replays are all available in the Mind Body community in Facebook or on my YouTube channel, Dr. Kim Duramo. So you can go there for that one if you didn't uh, get to watch it yet. The wisdom that created us is still here running and coursing through us. We're not separate from it. And so we can still open to let that healing come through. But the second thing that I want to make clear is that your mind is stronger than your body. Meaning the body is the physical, but the mind is in the meta physical, meaning that which governs the function of the physical, that which determines the physical. And so if we want to really have leverage and power in shifting the physical, we need to go to the meta physical, which is beyond, it's above, it is governing the physical. And so your mind is even stronger than your body. So if it's in your mind that your, um, you know, it doesn't even need to be a program around like, oh, I'm so sick. I'm so tired. You know, your cells are listening. They're going to keep creating that. It can be even something around money. Like I have to work hard. I have to work hard. Uh, I'm not safe. I, I'll never have enough. But these are unconscious, right? So then you stay in that job, even though you're unhappy and it starts to wear on your health. Or you stay in relationships that really aren't serving you because maybe you don't believe you can have real love or you think, well, is that really true? I mean, does that really exist? There's no picture perfect after all. So maybe you stay in relationships that aren't really serving you and you exhaust all of your energy. So your body can heal itself, but if it doesn't have the energy available, it's not going to be able to do what it's designed to do. So our emotions, our beliefs, our memories and trauma all equate to our programming, the message that's being sent to the cells and to the physical. And that's what's going to govern the state of the physical. And this is the one place that can dynamically block healing. So if your body can heal itself and it can handle any disease thrown at it, why isn't it doing that? These programs, the emotions, uh, unresolved traumas, past memories, belief systems are hanging out in the system and it absorbs a ton of energy to keep those programs running because it keeps you on a track that's not your really your highest and best. I was writing today in, for the second book and they sent me back this one chapter with a little um, story I wanted to put in about when I was working at Brown University, my first job out of college. And I had this huge wake up call because I unconsciously did something to sort of try to get myself fired. I was in a job I absolutely hated. I was miserable every day. I was working for a boss who was, um, you know, kind of like a bipolar personality with OCD and was really obsessive, but I never heard of that stuff before. I don't think anybody did back then. I didn't know. So I kind of thought it was me. I'm doing it wrong. I've got to, you know, buckle down. And there was all this tension. My experiments would like have errors and no one could help me figure out why. And it was about a year in, I was suffering from really significant depression. I went to see a therapist. Uh, and I remember this one therapist fell asleep on me in the middle of the session. I was like, you got to be kidding me. And I just felt completely lost and alone. And it wasn't until about a year in when I made this just really, this big error that I couldn't even believe how on earth could I have possibly done that? I'm supposed to go and inject black mice. And I went in and I injected white mice. And it was a project one of the doctoral students had been working on for months. It was like, it was a bad thing, right? So months of research down the tubes. Um, how could I have done this? What the hell was I thinking? I was so bewildered. Like I must be the stupidest person on the planet. There is something seriously wrong with me. I always knew it, right? Belief systems will surface. I always knew. And I must have just slipped through the cracks of being able to graduate college. And they just didn't see how stupid I really am. But there's majorly something wrong with me. And it wasn't until my sister came down 
we went rollerblading together that weekend and for hours, you know, outside and talking about what am I going to do with my life? And she sat me down and said, Kim, don't you remember this? And don't you remember that? And like all the achievements and awards and um, honors that I received in college, all the amazing things I had done. And um, she said, what if this happened? Because a part of you knows you don't need to be there, but you wouldn't have chosen to leave. And it was like a spark went off in my mind. I realized, oh my gosh, I'm unconsciously, we never do stuff like this consciously, um, trying to get myself out of there because I know I don't know how to get out of there myself consciously. And so, you know, the mind is stronger than the body. My eyes could see those were not the brown, the black mice. It's, but the mind is stronger and it would, it had me not see, not notice. I mean, I must've been so checked out, do, 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 you know, tuned in enough to inject the mice. So it wasn't like I was in a, you know, totally oblivious, but yeah, it was like a, it was like a trance where the subconscious mind has you do something that, um, isn't what is, uh, you would consciously choose. And so I went in that following Monday and I resigned. I said, I know this isn't right for me. It's not serving you either. I know it's time for me to leave. It was the best thing I ever did. I immediately felt a bajillion times better. Um, and I started realizing that if I could consciously choose what was right for me, um, my life would improve. My health would improve. I'd be a whole different person. So the depression immediately dissolved. I didn't need to go to a therapist uh, anymore. Um, I, I started, you know, all of a sudden opportunities started coming into my life and had a new job. And I realized, why did I think that was the only job on the planet? So sometimes we've got to realize that um, there's a bigger picture happening. And can I get on board for that? Would I be willing to consciously choose what's right for me? And so when it comes to symptoms, if you've got chronic fatigue or illness or pain, how do we tune in to what's underneath those, whether it's unconscious things like, whoa, I really don't want to go to work. And now at least I took some time off, right? But you're like, no, nah, that wasn't fun. I don't want to consciously do it this way. What can we do to truly get those needs met so the body doesn't have to go through illness or manifested disease? And so that's the first thing. And the second thing is, what are some of the other programs that might be in the system of unresolved emotions, memories, traumas, belief systems um, that we can resolve that can set us free from illness? And so we're going to use some EFT tapping, and I'm going to show you exactly how to get underneath those symptoms. So, so hard coping with a parent having behavioral issues. Yeah. I'm dealing with my mom with dementia. Yep. What resources do you recommend to learn more? I always recommend the um, Mind Body Toolkit, which is my book. Uh, you can get it on Amazon. You can get it at drkimd.com forward slash book. We did just launch the audiobook like a little over a week ago. So it is available as an audiobook as well. Um, this has 10 tools you can use anytime, anywhere to immediately ignite self healing in your body. It's a great place to start. And there's a mini course that goes with it. Uh, if you go to the, the website, drkimd.com forward slash book. Uh, but I did create a whole course. We're going to touch into some of this today in this broadcast with EFT around resolving chronic illness, autoimmune disease, and chronic fatigue. And we will share the link for that as well. It's called the Mind Body Solution for Chronic Fatigue and Brain Fog. <laughs> and it's at drkimd.com forward slash CFS. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Forward slash fatigue, I believe. Uh, uh, Alicia will post that for us. Oh, thank you. Sencel. your book has helped me so much already. Yes. Patty, can you add chronic pain? Yes. It's all the same. Awesome. <clears throat> I'm using this for weight loss. I lost those, oh, those last stubborn 15 pounds. Awesome. Beth, I had an amazing revelation when I listened to Nick Ortner this morning and I signed up for the Tapping Summit. Great. <laughs> The EFT Tapping Summit is going on. Uh, they've already started the pre-summit videos. So Alicia will share our link for that as well. You can sign up to learn more about EFT Tapping. But let's get ourselves going with this right now. 
Okay. So the first step in tapping is to check in. So take a few deep breaths, relax your body. I like to just bring my shoulders way up and inhale. And then oh, exhale, let your shoulders drop. You can make a sound for bonus points, just helping your body release tension. And then you just check in from one to 10. How severe are my symptoms right now? If you're not having symptoms, how severe is the problem? When I think about, oh, I'm this autoimmune illness, what am I going to do? Or when I think about, doesn't have to be illness related. Oh, this job I hate, but what, what can I do? Uh, anywhere you feel like overwhelmed or burdened or powerless or, yeah. Oh, thank you. drkimd.com forward slash CF is the link for the Mind Body Solution for Chronic Fatigue. And the link for the Tapping Summit is in there as well. Thank you so much, Alicia. Okay. So the first step after you do that, right, you gauge one to 10. 10 is like, oh my God, I'm going out of my mind. And you kind of want to tap on something that's at least a five. You know, sometimes I'm feeling really, really overwhelmed with something that just happened or um, maybe something I'm experiencing in my body. And you just want to rate that one to 10 just for the awareness. And then the next step is you start the tapping. So we're going to cooking lessons for my daughter is nine to 10 for overwhelm. Great. And that's a great tappable issue. So you tap on the outer edge of your hand, the karate chop point. You can go both of them together, one of them at a time. Doesn't matter. Breathing in through the nose breathing out through the mouth or any way that you would like to breathe. This is just a way of doing a cleansing breath. When you do tapping, you just do it along with me right now. Your body releases a lot of energy. It is discharging electromagnetic energy. That's why if you ever see energy healers that like shake themselves off or just kind of help that energy get off, they're literally discharging energy. Just because you don't necessarily see it visibly doesn't mean it's not real and it's not happening in your body. It absolutely is. So you tap here and you're going to repeat after me three times. Yep. Having knee surgery next week is a 10. So is it like the fear is a 10? The pain you're having surgery for is a 10. Get clear for yourself. For me... I'm going to tune in to, we're going to start with physical, okay? So sometimes we're not aware of the mental, emotional, past, belief, blah, 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 blah. Just start with the physical. So you repeat after me, even though I'm having this physical problem, just say the words. I choose to be at peace in my body now. Mary said nine out of nine and a half fatigue. Perfect. Even though I have this fatigue or pain or illness or overwhelm. It's okay for me to breathe and become at ease. Good. One more time. Even though I have this symptom this pain, this fatigue. It's okay for me to relax and allow healing to happen. Good. Or fear, anything you tap on is okay. You can be specific to you or you can just repeat my words. Okay, now we're going to start on the inner eye point, the main tapping points, so just talking to your body. I'm noticing this pain, this fatigue, this symptom. Outer eye. I'm noticing the pain in my body and my back, wherever it is. Just call it out. Under the eye. It's been here for how long has it been here? A year? 10 years? It's been here my whole life. Just tapping now on the physical, okay, under the nose. Ever since, okay, fill in the blank. Are there circumstances that happen ever since the car accident or ever since I did blah, 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 ever since I got a disease? Who knows? You fill it in for yourself. 
Just tapping on the physical. On the chin. This illness I'm having in my body. Under the collarbone. I don't know why I'm having this. Under the arm, you could do both sides or just one. These symptoms I'm having. Resurgence of bladder symptoms, panic I go into. Good, that's a great thing to tap on. Top of the head, these symptoms in my body. Inner eye, it's taking over my life. Outer eye, I don't know what to do. Under the eye, I'm not clear. Under the nose, I want to be clear. On the chin, I just want to be free and healthy. Under the collarbone, is that asking too much? Under the arm, angry that this is happening. On top of the head, everything included with this experience. Known and unknown. Okay, we're going to do a little more, but breathe for now. In through the nose, big, big breath. Bring your arms up overhead if you can. And then exhale, make a noise. Oh. Let your body move some energy. Sometimes when we start... Or as we go deeper, there's yawning, there's uh, tears can come out. Um, there can be heavy, more heavy and extreme symptoms like it gets worse. Don't worry. That's actually a good sign. I will tell you why. Um, so either of those three. So now I'd like you to check in again. We just did the first little tip of the iceberg here, but we're going deeper. So where are you now? Did it go maybe from a nine to a seven? Maybe it went from a five to a, a nine and you're like, whoa, wait a minute, something's wrong. That's okay. I just want to hear because that means there's more coming up. There's more arising. There's energy that was like underneath the rug and now we're letting it come out. That is a really, really good <clears throat> sign. Um, yes. Yeah. Yawning is good. A lot of times we're going to yawn. <laughs> Finally found you again. Okay. Patty. Hello. Crying out fear and sadness. Definitely better. Maybe six to seven chills through my body as things release. Great. Nine down to a five feeling tired. Yeah, that's good. That means your body's clearing a lot of energy and we'll go. Good. Trust the universe went from a 10 to a 20. Good. That's actually a really good sign. I'll tell you in a minute. Down to an eight. Great, Mary. The number went up and it's coming to light. Yay. Good. Seven to a six. There's a lot of clarity coming up. All right. I love doing this with you guys. Thank you guys for playing along. All right. Some of the things we have in our body are so suppressed. We're just feeling the tip of the, nice, the iceberg. When we start tapping, it's like, ah, the whole thing comes out. That's because the energy is moving out. I promise, 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 I promise you it's moving out. So don't let it scare you that things intensify. Get excited. We're going to do round two. Inner eye. I wonder what this might really be about. Outer eye, the severe symptoms, pain or fatigue. Under the eye, like something's taking over my body and it's scary. Under the nose, that's how I've learned to be with this. On the chin, afraid of what's happening in my body. Oh, make noises if you feel like that helps. Under the collarbone, so angry about what I'm dealing with. Under the arm, maybe feeling powerlessness. What can I do? 
top of the head, frustrated. I'm trying so hard. Just acknowledging the energy, right? Tapping as you acknowledge the energy. That's what lets it move. Keep going. Inner eye. Feeling powerless. Feeling scared. Outer eye. Fighting illness. Fighting my symptoms. Under the eye. The way I learned to fear my body. Under the nose, the way I've learned to fight my body. On the chin, fighting my body at all costs. Ugh, under the collarbone, fighting this illness at all costs. Under the arm, it's so scary. On top of the head, it's so scary. I'm just going to honor how scary it can really be. Breathing in. Breathing out. Big, 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 big breath. As big as you can. Let's check in. Down to an eight. Um, oh, that was from a little earlier. I've been crying all day. Can't feel anything but numbness. Okay, that's good. I'm going to talk about that too as the rest of the responses come in. Um, when there's a numbness, I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything. We're still in fight or flight. There's a couple other reasons, but that's typically what's happening for someone like what you're doing. And that's why the first round is always really helpful. Just tap on the physical. And I know it seems like, well, it's not just about the physical. Just tap on the physical. If you start with the physical, the underlying energies will come up automatically. So where do I feel in my body? If you know, like when it started, uh, if the pattern, like, oh, it's worse at night or it's so bad first thing in the morning or worse with movement or it's better with movement or whatever the specifics are of just the physical. So you can write that down. Like stage one is just tap on the physical in the mind body solution for chronic fatigue. I bring you through this more systematically and specifically and, you know, bring you through the work. Uh, but we can do this on your own as well. And so uh, that's the first piece. Then you tap one or two rounds just on the physical. So you check in, tap a couple rounds on the physical, check in again. Then you can, you will begin to sense a little bit of a deeper piece of like emotional. I'm worried it will get worse. I'm pissed this is happening to me. Or angry about, um, you know, why did I take that trip and get that infection or oh, I can't believe that person hit me with the car, whatever might be associated with it. Or if it's something from your past and your upbringing that you feel is like you're still carrying, there may be emotions that come up there. When you do that first round, you're going to be aware of a lot more than you were before you started. So sometimes the emotions of the fear and the powerlessness and the frustration and ah, anger, it is super healthy to move anger. So anger, people think when they learn about the stuff, like it's the anger that's toxic or the shame or the fear that's so harmful to the body. No, it's suppressing the fear, suppressing the anger, suppressing the shame and powerlessness. That is what's so toxic. So as soon as you acknowledge like, oh my God, I'm freaking fuming and you tap, you're diffusing the energy. So that's why this is so powerful. My eczema, I can't figure anything out. A week or six for me, feeling like I wanted to vomit. Yes. So the autonomic nervous system gets activated when we do this, but we're going to keep moving. It will pass. Yes. Frustration. Shifro, this is amazing. I've been doing EFT with my mom who has arthritis for the past few weeks, and it's been an incredible journey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everything you're doing. Yay. Um, Alicia, will you share the link for the Tapping Summit? Again, this is an awesome free resource. Nick and Jessica Ortner do, uh, their whole family is doing this summit uh, where they teach you EFT tapping. And there's 20 people, uh, myself included, who are speakers in the live summit. You can purchase the series, which if this work resonates with you, hands down, I would definitely recommend. It's an amazing investment. It's an incredible resource, uh, but you can tune in if you catch it that day to watch it, you know, watch each of the segments uh, on the day it airs. Uh, what if you are moved to tap out of order? It doesn't matter. You tap any way you want. It's your tapping and it's absolutely fine. How about sleeping? Oh, we do have a sleep meditation 
It's a free EFT tapping before sleep. I've had tons and tons of people tell me um, I slept peacefully for the first time in a long time. Uh, I slept through the whole night. I slept amazing. I fell right asleep automatically. That's at drkimd.com forward slash sleep. Um, and the link for the summit is on the thread. Autonomic neuropathy. Yes, you can see results in all of these uh, illnesses. It's just a matter of going deep enough that you get to the core of what's going on. Um, and in the mind body solution for chronic fatigue, that's what I guide you through. It's a home study course where you go a lot deeper into this work. Um, but let's stay with what we're doing today. So, um, uh, our, so are we going to do a third round? So you've done the physical, uh, you've done the emotional, which is like the fear, the anger, anything that comes up. And it can't even just be a sense of like, what the hell is going on? Why is my life turned upside down? This is my life is revolving around this illness that will get you there as well. Cause that's even emotional beginning to get emotional. All right. On this next piece, uh, we're going to go into some of the thoughts and beliefs. You may be already aware of them. Uh, you may not be, but that's kind of the deeper layer where you can go next. So inner eye, um, the idea I'll never get better. <sighs> Outer eye. What if this takes over my whole life? Under the eye. Yeah. Red said, I'm afraid of wellness. Great. I'm scared to be well. I'm, I'm fearful of wellness, right? Cause sometimes who would I have to be if I got well, maybe I wouldn't get all the assistance. Maybe I'd have to go to a job that I don't know how to, I don't want to do I'm afraid of wellness under the nose. I'm afraid of illness. It's just fear on the chin, all the things known and unknown that are contributing to this. Oh, I'm like yawning myself. So that's good. Under the collarbone. All the fears, all the beliefs. Under the arm. But I have a physical problem. So this won't work for me. Just tapping on the ideas, just tapping on the beliefs. That is what neutralizes them. Top of the head, all the ideas, known and unknown that are linked to this illness. We'll do a little more inner eye. What would it take for me to be free? Under the eye. What if my body's wisdom does know exactly what to do? Under the eye, would I be willing to allow that? <sighs> under the nose, the idea, I don't know how, I don't know how. On the chin, living from that powerlessness. Under the collarbone, I'm just going to acknowledge what's here. Stay right here. It's okay to feel what I feel. Oh, I am not these symptoms. Under the arm, I can let go and allow. On top of the head, honoring what I feel, honoring what I notice. And allowing more breath. Just breathe, 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 breathe. Deep breath in. Oh. Oh. Every breath is birth and death. It's the birth of the new self. It's the falling away of the old self, the limited self. And it starts with seeing myself as whole. I don't need to see myself as limited. My body's telling me to let go of the past. Awesome, Anna. L-O-A, sensei, freedom can feel like danger. Yep. And so noticing that, just noticing like wherever that, wherever those wires got crossed that has freedom feel like danger, just going to notice this. So you're just tapping, letting your body neutralize the energies for you. 
Can this have, help regulate the chaos brain nervous system? Mine has been dysregulated and dissociated. Yes, 100%, because these three nervous systems are intimately connected. And that third nervous system, the electromagnetics, is intimately connected with every single functioning aspect of your body. Everything, down to your genes, down to your hormones, down to your physical cellular structure. I loved the story last year uh, with Angelique where she had a you know, a very well understood um, uh, genetic uh, disease, Ehlers-Danlos, which is like a connective tissue disorder, right? The connective tissues extra super stretchy. I mean, in medical school, there's a guy, you know, and the pulls his neck out and his neck stretching like all the way out to here because the connective tissue is so stretchy and elastic. Well, yeah, that's nice for the circus show, but in her spine, it was getting all thrown off where there'd be like subluxations instead of a really strong alignment. So she was in the chiropractor three times a week just to stay out of excruciating severe pain. She was in a wheelchair. Her hips would frequently dislocate and they have to put them back in place. She was in chronic severe pain. She couldn't walk. She was, you know, like I said, she was in a wheelchair most of the time. And through this work, her body regained appropriate structural integrity, right? If you ask a conventional medical doctor who's bought into that thinking, they'd say, no, that's not possible. You have this, here's your genes, here's your tissue. This is what's going to happen. But if you understand epigenetics, that which governs the, ge the genes, turns some on, turns some off, you understand, oh, wait a minute, there's other factors. That's the meta, the metaphysical. There are other factors that govern how this physical behaves. There are other factors that govern how the genetics behave. There are other factors that govern how the cellular behaves. So cells, hormones, immune system, digestive system. So any, you know, autoimmune disease is really in the realm of that where the immune system is flared up and either deteriorating the nerves with like MS or a neurological disorder, uh, deteriorating the thyroid. So Hashimoto's or another thyroid disorder, uh, chronic fatigue and adrenal fatigue syndrome, where, you know, the communication between the brain and the adrenals is, you know, overrun, overstimulated. And so you're kind of like tanking your energy, uh, inflammatory bowel and uh, disorder disease and irritable bowel syndrome, those kind of inflammatory disorders, all of this pain syndromes like fibromyalgia are in that jurisdiction of that the mind <laughs> is governing what's happening in the body to such a huge and significant extent. Not like, oh, well, it's 10% of the equation, but I mean, I got this genetic thing. No, it's it's 99.999% of the equation. And so when we become in mastery, even just 2%, we can shift all of that profoundly. And so this is our EFT tapping. You can use it to get to the root cause, but start with the physical, right? Once you do the tapping, you are going to feel things. You are going to, even if it's just, well, why am I yawning? I'm yawning. I don't know why I'm yawning. Maybe you don't feel the emotion yet, but you notice something. Oh, I have tingling. Something's happening in my nervous system. You're letting more information in. Sometimes you will feel pain, sadness, anger, fear, tap on that. That's that second stage. Once you've done that, you may need a third round of that second stage, right? Like, let's just move, move, move. You might begin to get a sense of the belief systems or memory or, oh my God, it all started when, <laughs> and you tap on that. And it is amazing how quickly and how powerfully it can rebalance the nervous system to allow these things to clear from your electromagnetics so that the body can then rebalance itself and regain health. So you are not tapping on the MS. You are not tapping on the autoimmune disorder. You're tapping for what you feel, sense, and notice, and you're letting your body heal the MS or the cancer or the autoimmune disorder. So it's really not about the physical. It's never just about the physical. We want to tap into that metaphysical, which is the mental, emotional realm of what's actually creating what's happening physically and shift that. Um, okay. Lots of yawning. Yikes. I'm going to ask if can, uh, back, can this help my nine-year-old daughter? Two weeks ago, we did a great tapping session for kids. So I would revisit that. Um, 
we do have the Mind Body Kids program, which is an excellent resource to, uh, for parents and kids to do tapping along with your kids. But a lot of it actually has to do with you. Your electromagnetics are the number one most influential factor on your kids. Powerful stuff. So when you shift what's happening within you, it can have a really powerful shift on what's happening with your kids. I see it all the time. Um, how could I tap on the, on the nervous system and chaos in the brain? So same thing, exactly what we did here today. More than brain wiring than the mind for me. Yeah, it's the same thing. Your brain, your mind is going to create the way your brain is wired. So the mind and where it's functioning from, is it functioning from love? Is it functioning from fear? Is going to directly and immediately determine your brain wiring and your brain firing. It's not random. It's not just happening all on its own. Your brain does not have a mind of its own. <laughs> what is the mind you're in? Because that is going to directly and immediately create what's happening in your brain wiring and your brain firing. Um, I'm counting on it. In fact, as I have some special uh, spinal degeneration. Awesome. Yeah. And you'll see like what can be recouped in the body and then what resources come in that you didn't even know existed before that can assist that even more fully. Sometimes when you do, um, when you do move this much energy, you'll all of a sudden have resources. You, where were these my whole life? I've been looking and looking and all of a sudden something will come in. Oh, thanks, Robin. Please remember to hit the thumbs up to help spread the good word. <laughs> thanks, Robin. Yeah, everybody, please remember if you do like this, if you do feel inspired by this, if this has been helpful for you, hit the thumbs up, subscribe in YouTube. Come and join us in the Mind Body community in Facebook if you're not already. We have our coaches and mentors in there to answer your questions, guide you through this work, help you with what your next steps may be and um, assist you through those either online home study programs or we do have live courses as well. Our year-long program will start in June. Uh, in the meantime, we do have the Mind Body Solution for Chronic Fatigue and Brain Fog, which is an excellent resource I created specifically for what we're doing here, resolving the true root causes of what keep people sick in autoimmune disease, in pain, and in fatigue. So thank you guys for being here. Um, I will just go through a few more comments. Oh, yes. Yes, this can help so much, Kim, with grief and death um, because a lot of that energy of grief gets also suppressed. I've had so many people tell me like, oh, yeah, how are you doing? I'm so sorry so-and-so died. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just getting busy at work, you know, just throwing myself into work to stay busy. And it's like, oh, yeah, because people don't know how to move through grief. They only know how to avoid it and suppress it. And that's okay, but it's not going anywhere. It's going to continue to affect you and it just becomes heavier as time goes on. So to have a resource like EFT Meridian Tapping to move that energy, to honor, love what's here. It's okay to feel grief, but let the energy move. That's what allows you to be healthy. Um, so definitely subscribe for the summit. Mine is, uh, I don't, I can't remember which day it is, but they're going to air and it's a 10 day sequence where there are two speakers a day and you can go in for free to listen to those speakers or you can purchase the whole uh, series. And that way, if you miss a day, you know, or several days, you're going to have all the content and it's a great investment. Um, I'm at drkimd.com and you can subscribe for, um, you know, more awareness of what we're doing, invitation to events and courses that we have. Um, we will have in a couple of weeks, we'll be launching the Alive Woman course and doing a live workshop with that as well with my partner, Mario Therese Leon. Uh, and we'll share just the inspirations, what we've learned in our relationship, how much we've grown and what are the specific tools we've used to stay in joyful, passionate intimacy and connection, being in love and joy instead of, um, you know, the path we were headed on, which was like, I really like you, but you're kind of a roommate and let's just get by the next day. Um, we really have so much more than that, but we created that when we learned um, how to do that. It doesn't, for some people, it doesn't just happen. Oh, we're just so in love. It just happened. You know, 
we had that and uh, we we cultivate that to keep that and keep it alive. And so you can stay tuned for that as well um, if you're subscribed. And I will see you guys here every week at 11 a.m. Mountain for Mind Body TV. I'm going to answer a couple more questions. Patty said, what if we blame ourselves for our physical symptoms? And that go into the third category. It's my fault. It's my fault. It's my fault. Why did I do this? And you might even have, I used to do this too, like, oh, because I did this thing, because I didn't eat that. Oh, because I did eat that. I'd have this idea. So in the third section, all the ideas, right? I did this to myself. It's my fault. Let yourself feel everything that arises with it. So physical, emotional, mental. Start with the first part and you'll be amazed at what begins to come up. Move that energy. Set yourself free. I love you guys. I'm so glad that you're here. Definitely feel free to join the Mind Body Solution for Chronic Fatigue and uh, Illness if you would like to go much, much deeper with this work. And uh, we'll, we'll see you. See you next week. We'll see you uh, for future broadcasts and see you in the Mind Body community as well. All right. Love you guys. Bye.